Validity and reliability are two very important concepts related to variable measurement. Validity refers to whether or not a measurement tool is actually measuring what it's supposed to be measuring. For example, say we wanted to know whether someone has a drinking problem. We say we're going to define our drinking problem as someone who consumes eight or more alcoholic beverages in a particular week. So we ask someone how many drinks they had in the past week and they say nine. Based on our definition, this person has a drinking problem. But what if the person drank on different days as shown here? The most drinks they had on any one given day is two. This person probably doesn't actually have a drinking problem. Compare person one to person two, who also had nine drinks during the past week, but had all nine drinks on Friday. This person might have a drinking problem. Our measure of drinking problem might not be valid because somebody could be defined as having a drinking problem when they really do not. It's important to note the difference between measurement error and validity. In our example, measurement error would mean somebody reported they consumed nine drinks, but they actually had 10. So the value we record for that person is an inaccurate representation of reality. When validity is a problem, our measurement could be completely accurate, but the accurate measurement of number of drinks might not be a valid indicator of a drinking problem. So measurement error is inaccuracy in the measured value of our variable for any given person. Validity is inaccuracy in how that measurement relates to the concept we're trying to capture. Reliability relates to whether or not our measurement gives consistent results. Say we ask someone how many drinks they had during the past week, and they say three. Then we ask them five minutes later, and they said they had six drinks. Assuming that they did not actually have any drinks between the two times we asked them, this would be an issue of reliability. The same measurement gives us two different values when repeated over time despite no change in the truthful value for the variable. A reliable measurement can have measurement error as long as the measurement error is consistent. For example, say a person had three drinks in the past week and tells us they had six. Then we ask them again and they still say they had six. This is reliable. Reliability has nothing to do with the amount of measurement error or the validity of the measure. It only has to do with whether the measure gives us consistent results when repeated over time. The best measures have low measurement error, so the values they provide are accurate, has high validity, so the measure is capturing what it's supposed to be capturing, and has high reliability, so the measurements are consistent when repeated over time.